Nigeria's premier teaching hospital, the University College Hospital Ibadan, sits on approximately 220 acres of land. With a current staff strength of over 6,000 at full capacity, UCH has a bed space of 1,445. This is in addition to the various medical departments, such as the College of Medicine, lecture theatres, shops, banks and schools, as well as students and staff accommodation. Naturally, it becomes a source of worry when such an important institution, saddled with safety of lives, has to grapple with epileptic or non-existent power supply. UCH has been wrestling with the Ibadan Electric Distribution Company, which has disconnected it three times between February and March this year. They were not paid for some time. You know, this uh, administration in continuum, anyway, which you know, uh, there were some amounts inherited by this current administration, which effort have been made along, made along the line to pay them off. But I know there are still few months that are being held. This put a lot of strain on patients, the relatives and medical staff. Some relatives of patients told Channels TV off camera that they had to buy water even for cleaning. Some medical staff are also feeling the pinch. They say areas like diagnostic services and other critical functions are hampered when there's no power. From getting basic needs like water to getting serious life-saving equipment like ventilators to work becomes a challenging task. It has affected the quality of the sanitary conditions and the hygiene on the wards because patients can no longer um, afford to carry out as much of the hygiene, um, hygienic practices that we expect them to carry out. And also, um, especially this is worse in um, the labor wards, the specific areas where there's a high turnover and you need a lot of water to maintain um, this hygiene. At times like these, the hospital resorts to the use of generators, which come on for only a few hours in parts of the hospital. An energy committee has been created to find a lasting solution to the problem. We have an ICU where patients are on ventilators, and then the theater where severely injured patients are operated upon, and we do all sorts of surgeries, and then the accidental emergency, which is the entrance point for people that need urgent care. So these are the places we are exploring between the medium term to, to put in rapidly power, solar power systems and, and that will give us stable power in this place. While we continue for long term, we are also looking at sustainable private power. Uh, we know that the Oyo State government is also doing a project. We are hoping that in the long term there will be alternatives. Meanwhile, the IBEDC says the teaching hospital is being repeatedly disconnected because it has failed to come up with a plan to clear its outstanding debt of 495 million naira. We pay like 26, 27 percent on outstanding. Now the outstanding is 495. And this is maybe over two, three years. Now imagine what the, the exchange rate was when that money was being owed. What we are supposed to pay when that money was being owed. And what we will pay now when that money is being owed. So we are paying more. UCH says efforts are underway to find a lasting solution to the problem. The hope is that this gets done on time to put an end to unavoidable negative consequences on patients and all concerned.